Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from XI. This is their portable outdoor waterproof solar LED lantern. And this is great in case you have a power outage or you need to take this uh, maybe on a camping trip or something like that. This would work out really, really well. We're going to dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that you get once you get it out of the box. You're going to get a user manual, and the model number is RJ-001. This is written in English, and it's not microprint, so you're not going to need a magnifying glass to read this. It does have all your functions here with the two touch-sensitive buttons, being able to uh, adjust the uh, color temperature, the brightness, and putting in, in either sensing mode or always on mode, which I'll show you in just a few moments. Now you can charge this two different ways. There is a nice little solar panel on the top here uh, that will charge this during the day. And if you do need to charge it during an emergency, there is also a USB type C port on the side as well. Now this uh, it also has some product parameters here. Uh, you can see that it takes uh, 8 to 12 hours to charge it via solar and that's to fully charge it and 6 to 7 hours via USB type C. There's three levels of brightness and there's three different color temperatures on this as well. It is IP67 waterproofed uh, so I'll have those up at this point in the video. If I miss anything you can uh, come and check it out. Now let's take a look at the main unit here. Uh, you do have two touch sensitive buttons. One's an on and off button that does a couple different things other than on and off. And the second one is a mode button. On the bottom we do have a nice little uh, pad to keep this in place if you're going to use it as a table lamp for instance. Uh, but it also has a solar panel at the top here uh, which will uh, actively recharge the battery uh, as long as there's light getting to the solar panel. So that's always a nice thing without having to uh, recharge this constantly. Now you do get a flip up handle here for portability or being able to hang this on a hook or something like that at a campsite, this would work really well. Now, if you do have to, for some reason, emergency charge this, you do have this USB Type-C port on the side. Now, they don't give you a USB Type-C cable, but you can use any cable that is USB Type-C that you probably already have lying around from another electronic device. Uh, I have one here that's a USB Type-A to USB Type-C. Uh, this will work just fine. Just remember that if you're planning on doing this, they don't include the cable in the box. You'll have to provide your own. Now you can plug the USB type A into any laptop or PC's USB or you can use something like this which is an AC to USB adapter that you probably already have from a, one of your other devices. Now when we do plug this in there's a little uh, red LED there to let you know that it is charging and that will uh, turn off when it is fully charged as well so you know that you're charged and topped off on the battery. So that's just a secondary way to charge this in case of emergencies, but obviously the solar portion of this is going to pretty much keep it topped up at all times as long as you have light here. Default mode is going to be sensing mode. That means that when the solar panel does not sense light, it will automatically turn on the LED lantern, which is great. Uh, you know, if it goes from the daytime to nighttime, it will automatically turn on. Now, if we hold down the mode button on the right-hand side for two seconds, you can put it in always on mode. So those are your two different modes that you have. If you want it to always be on even during the day, you can do that. Now, short pressing here, we can change with the mode button three different color temperatures. As you can see, I've cycled through three different color temperatures here, which is nice. It gives you a either warmer or cooler temperature depending on what you would like to have in whatever scenario, either indoors or on your campsite or what you are using this for. Now we do have the on and off switch here as well, and we can turn everything off. And when it blinks once like that, we're switching modes between sensing mode and uh, you know uh, putting it back in that sensing mode, which is really great. 
So that's how you use the on and off switch. You can hit it once uh, and hold it. And when you hold the on and off switch, you have three levels of brightness, 25%, 50%, or 100%. So tapping it will turn it off and put it into sensing mode and holding down the on and off button will change your three levels of brightness. So it's a pretty simple operation here. Uh, overall, just a really uh, easy to operate unit. Uh, I really do enjoy that you do have uh, those uh, dual modes in case you want it to be an always on mode, maybe in case of a power outage or something like that. Uh, and if you're gonna use this with solar, uh, you do have that solar panel on the top, plus an emergency USB type C charge on the side. Now this is great. You get three different color temperatures, three different brightnesses, and overall it's very lightweight uh, and well built. It's also waterproof, so if you're going to be using this outdoors, say maybe on your porch or something like that, you're not going to have a problem with this holding up to weather as well. So overall, I think Exai did a great job on this. This is uh, a, a great little item to have if you're going to be using it for outdoors, uh, maybe patio or camping or even emergencies uh, like power outages or something like that. So there you go. That's my review of the Exai uh, portable a uh, waterproofed outdoor solar LED lantern. Uh, overall, I had a good time reviewing this. It's uh, very useful uh, for me since I don't do a lot of camping. I'm gonna keep this for uh, power outages or something like that, uh, emergency lighting, and this will work really, really well for that, uh, maybe on my bedside table. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.